Howdy, be Flo Bart here, and welcome. Let everything get caught up here. Alright, so hopefully everything is caught up and everything's where it should be here. The channel that I've got going has been up and running for... Mm, well, I've had this YouTube channel for quite some time, and for the last couple of years, a year and a half to two years now, I have been doing videos and so forth to work with Unreal Engine 4, uh, some of the projects that I've been working on, sharing, sharing those projects with everybody, uh, you know, as well as, you know, doing tutorials, showing people how to do things, uh, how to create things, and I've been administrators and moderators on quite a number of different uh, YouTube channel or uh, Discord channels um, to help with them and keeping them rolling and, and so forth. Um, well, I appreciate those. I have left using other people's platforms I, I no longer am active on anybody else's Discord channel. That's not out of disrespect to the creators of the channel itself. Um, that is, you know, just my choice. I've decided to no longer be part of other people's communities. Uh, I need to, to worry about my community and everything that I'm doing and what I'm doing towards my life. Uh, I have been pretty courteous to a lot of different people. Uh, I, I've tried my very best to be respectful, uh, to help everybody that, that comes to me and asks me for help, to try to give them as much help as I possibly can. And I, I don't see that changing itself. But there's going to be some changes in the way that I do things on my Discord channel, on my YouTube channel, and things in general. And this is not because of, uh, you know, one person or another. It's because of what I want to do and what I need to do. Um, but some of this has come from the sheer lack of respect and disrespect that I have seen uh, especially on other Discord channels. Um, you know, an example just recently was um, somebody who got quite butt hurt because uh, they went on to a company's web uh, Discord channel who sells a product. And I'm not going to mention who they are or anything like that. But, um, and on the that discord channel for a company's product they're trying to recruit people and asking if there's anybody out there that would be willing to make them a product that is the exact same style of product that's being made by the company whose discord channel they're in that is extremely disrespectful and very very just just bad bad manners uh, I made a comment at one point to the nature of it's like going up to your your wife and asking her if she will help you to find a, a new girlfriend I mean seriously sorry everything is not clicking along the way it should be right now um, I don't see Things working correctly on, on OBS here. I don't see chat. I don't see anything else going on right now. So if you're you're watching and you're trying to make comments, I'm not going to be able to see them right now. And that's because of the software being screwy. So, yeah. Uh, and, you know, dealing with trolls, I'm just not going to put up with it. You know, on my live streams I'm just gonna do, I do have chat working again sorry um, whenever it comes to, to troll comments I'm just gonna delete them and I'm just gonna block the users I don't do drama 
I don't do trolls. I don't do disrespect. Um, whenever it comes to my Discord channel, um, a lot of you guys know that um, I don't take shit from anybody. I don't have to. I do things to help other people all the time. And if your intent is to come along and troll me because I'm trying, because you're just a piece of shit troll, then I'm not going to put up with it. You're just going to be removed. You're going to be blocked. You're going to be reported. Um, whether or not it does anything or not doesn't matter, but you're still going to be blocked from, from my stuff. Um, those of you know, I have a certain level of respect that I, I insist on. Um, and that's common courtesy stuff on my discord channel. Um, I've, I've made it sticky as part of the rules. Um, do not use a mention with my name in it. And I've made it clear that I find it disrespectful. If I'm sitting here watching, whether it shows I'm online or not, I am usually either here or I'm not here. But I'm going to see every comment and every message that's on my Discord channel. So there's no need to use a mention with my name in it. It is rude and disrespectful. And I respectfully ask that people follow the rules of my Discord channel. When you go to the... Um, Um, you can't disable them completely. Um, I, if I could disable all of them, I would. Yeah, I, I'm not talking about the Cinti server in general. And, um, yeah, it has nothing to do with it. Uh, I've disabled a lot of the stuff on on Discord for for mentions in the the channel properties and so forth. But even if I do or don't disable them, I've asked out of a level of respect for people to not do it. And it's just funny that the number of people who have gotten butt hurt whenever I refer them to the server rules. When you join somebody else's server, you should take time to look around and um, and read the, the server rules. I'll go back through again. Maybe something's changed lately on, on the settings on it, but uh, I will I will look more into that. But, you know, even still, I, I've made it clear that I don't like it, and that's just one of them. Yeah, and that's what I do. I mean... I remind people of the rules. I relink them. Whenever you, you join my, my server, um, of course, you should always check the pinned notes. Um, and if you see a channel that says Welcome Center, Server Rules, hmm, you know, uh, take a few moments to look around. It's situational awareness. You know, it's a common courtesy thing. And... Zavaro, why in the fuck are you using a mention on the fucking Discord channel just to be a fucking troll right now? Well, see, that's you know, the thing I'm talking about is on my Discord channel, people are going to read or they're going to be gone. And that bullshit you just pulled by using a mention with my name in it on another person's Discord channel is pretty fucking rude, dude. It's part of the reason you were fucking ejected from my team is your constant disrespect. Yeah, and the thing is, it's my channel, and I'm I will run it how I see fit. So, you know what? You're being the asshole right now, so you need to eat a dick and get the fuck out of my YouTube channel, and don't bother me again. Are we clear with that? You were ejected from my channel multiple times for disrespect, being a lazy, worthless piece of shit. So, you know, you got rude with my staff on my channel. I don't know what that situation was. Don't care. But you didn't talk to me, and you didn't man up to it. So... Not going to tolerate it. Have a good night. 
goodbye. We're going to start you with a timeout. Unless you can be respectful, then you need to get the hell out. So... it's one of those things where it's my house you don't like my rules you get the hell out um, don't be disrespectful to me and doing what you just did was absolutely disrespectful I, I've made it clear that I find it disrespectful for someone to use a mention with my name on it knowing that I'm actually watching my channel so you go to somebody else's channel and you do that it's highly disrespectful, and that's the kind of troll behavior I don't put up with. I don't have to, and I'm not gonna. So, yeah, I just, I've gotten to the point where it's trolls and inconsiderate people. Well, you see, and that's part of part of the thing, John, I, I, always, I always love your advice and stuff, but I'm not being professional anymore. That's what I'm getting to in this, this uh, stream here. You know the um, I'll move on into that, but it's it's because of the amount of disrespect, the the people who who don't really care about other people in general enough to actually be respectful and be courteous. So I'm going to continue to run my Discord channel as my little home, my little bubble. No, you're you're fine, John. I mean, I don't mean to be disrespectful to you on that because you've always been helpful. Um, you know, I've always respected what you've had to say because you're like me. You don't, you don't put up with bullshit either, and I respect that. So, you have my respect, in other words. Um, it's the the people who don't respect other people's um, requests, um, and it's it's not one incident. It's not something that happened today or yesterday or the day before. This is just I'm old I, I'm 50 years old and I'm not doing this anymore I, I'm just not going to do it I'm not worried about Unreal Engine 4 yes I have a project in front of me here um, I, I'm not worried about um, the fact that my life is not going to revolve around Unreal Engine 4 um, and game development in general um, will I still help out with um, Cynthia Studios and doing the Try Before You Buy Asset Packs? Yeah, probably. But that's out of my respect to them. And, you know, if they want me to keep doing them, then I'll keep doing them. I, I did them free of charge. You know, you know, with other people who want to help promoting their stuff, I'm all for it. I'll help you out the best that I can. But my life is not going to revolve around Unreal Engine 4. And I'm going to be changing the way that my Discord is set up. I tried to branch out in some other stuff, and you know, I I keep changing my Discord channel layout. So, sorry. Uh, tonight's drink of choice is not Orange Crush. Um, it's actually sweet tea and coffee. But yeah, I mean, I. If somebody is in my Discord channel and they're asking me for help, I'm going to help them. I'm not going to turn people away because, to me, that's disrespectful. But things like um, the projects that I've been working on, you know, when I put together a group, whenever I first assembled my group of people together as quote-unquote developers, and Zavaro, the, the kid who changes his name every three weeks, uh, which, you know, I will applaud you. you. You have kept the same name for quite a while. Um, more than two months, actually. So, um, I applaud you on that, at least. But, you know, I, I got this group of, of people together, and we had a fun time. We were hanging out. We were, you know, goofing around. But without a development budget, for me to be able to hand out money saying, hey, here's X number of dollars, um, create this for me. Or me saying, hey, John, here's, you know, here's a contract, here's the money, build me this, you know. Um, 
without being able to pay someone to actually do the work, I can't expect other people to follow my vision of what I think is the perfect cool game. And I understand that. Um, everybody else has, and I am absolutely going to pick on Sadraka right now. He's still a buddy. I can still pick on him. I can still talk shit to him. And I still hope he talks shit to me. Because we have a rapport and we can be friends back and forth. But I couldn't get shit out of that motherfucker because he was too busy building his Egypt Pact. Which I will be doing a review on soon, by the way. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to seeing it. Um, yeah, exactly. You get what you pay for. you know. But I mentioned to them, you know, hey, here's the thing. Let's get together and let's make this kick-ass pack and... Yeah, he's my buddy. We talk almost every day. So, do I need to put you back on timeout again, or are you going to be polite this time? And that's not how you're going to score points and stay unmuted. So, yeah, I just gave you a compliment. Not a very good one, but a compliment a few minutes ago. Take it and live with it. Um, but, yeah, I said, okay, let's put together this, this set of mechanics. Let's bundle up all of our... Um, our animations and our our this and that and everything else. Uh, the majority of us all were into the, the Cinti assets and had almost all of them and uh, that kind of stuff. And if you want to talk to me man to man, this is not the time for it. Uh, more than welcome to, to talk to me on Discord. It's if I unblock you. Um, I'll unblock you, but uh, actually, I do have you unblocked, but delete that fucking post you made on the damn uh, Cindy's uh, thing. That's just being rude. I don't have to be polite on my channel. In, in my channel. <laughs> okay. So, um... Alright. Alright. You gotta do a lot of ass kissing to get back on the the, the man to man and and the, the the buddy policy. So, but anyway, moving on with this. Um, yeah, the the idea of putting all of our our work together, combining it to make what my vision was at the time, and what my vision was at the time was to create a central lobby system where. Everybody gets together, can hang out, goof off, party, you know, and do their thing. But then that lobby system was then a launching point, like a virtual version of Steam or, you know, you play or whatever the launching system where you, you get in there and everybody's able to be able to just goof off in one central safe lobby area where you could walk around, shop, interact with other people, that kind of stuff. But if you want to go off into John's jetpack um, uh, game, then you walk over here across town, and there's a building that's um, John's personal compound. And, and Zavaro, um, he's got his own little personal building over there that he, he has. And if you want to go and play his game, or Cedrico's um, Egyptian... Um, whatever um yeah you just go across town and and you do those and instead of having to each of these other people on the team creating their own everything the mechanics for all the different styles of combat where it would be melee combat or shooting style combat rifles pistols shotguns rocket launchers throwing grenades throwing knives shooting a bow um all the different combat mechanics would be ironed out and hammered out in the core system of the game itself, in the core lobby system. And um, with that scenario, you as a team member, once the core is already developed, then it's just a matter of polishing little turds here and there. But if you want to create your own little section, you've got your own section of town, and when people went into that section of town, your games launched from there. Um, and they're all just different style of game modes that launch from within the same thing. They branch out. They can come back to the same lobby again. Everything would have been great, and all I wanted from my team at the time was to, let's build that core system, get all these different types of combat done, all the, the connection issues, the lobby system, 
um, say, okay, we want a modern city. Okay, what if we want um, a lobby to look like a Wild West town, or we want a lobby to look like a sci-fi area? With the Cindy assets we were using, uh, we were able to create these variable different environments. What if you want to live in a castle in the medieval times? We could do different themes, but the whole thing is, is all you're having to do with your, your themed area is create the map, and select which game mode and once the core is done we can all help each other to finish out each other's version of that project and as money was made people would end up being able to profit from that I still think it's a great idea because if you sell the project for and the way that I had planned for marketing and everything else there was gonna always be some source of revenue coming in from it and I've pretty much let all of my advertisers know, all of my sponsors know that I'm I'm done with the biz a few months ago, and that um, yeah I was moving along to something else. So I've I've canned all of the um, the potential sources of income um, because of lack of interest and lack of being able to get anybody who wants to join my team and stay on there and complete that one project. I understand again not everybody shares the same vision towards an end goal and the way that I run things some people had a problem with the way I run things they one person that, that swore up and down that um, uh, yeah unless I made everything public then he wouldn't join my team I don't want the fucking public knowing everything that I was doing in my project it's my project you want to join my project so well you gotta have a uh, what the hell was that damn thing called Zavar, you know what the hell I'm talking about, because you were a part of it, too. It was, um, even Zempy and some of these other names that have come and gone over the years. Skippy. God knows where he is now. Um, he's on one of his uh, runaway themes. He'll show up for a couple days and be gone for a month. Um, yes, just because Skippy owes me money doesn't mean that I'm going to pester him for money. Friends don't do that. Um... So, will I keep doing videos? Let's move on with, with this, this video in general. Will I keep doing videos? If I decide that I want to do a video on showing a mechanic, um, I promised somebody earlier in Discord that I would do a stream um, on something. And, yeah, I'll do it. But, it's because he asked me in a nice way, hey, how can I do this and let's do this and... And he was being respectful towards it. All right, I'll check that message after the stream, bud. Um, so, you know, if people come to me and say, hey, can you help me out with this? I'm not going to just, you know, stop everything and say, okay, this has to be done. I have to do this for this individual person. Um, and I don't want people to think that this is commercially why I'm doing this uh, I'm saying well if you want help you're gonna have to pay for it well yeah in one way or the other it would be nice out of courtesy but am I gonna sit there with my hand out saying pay me and then we're gonna move forward um, what you're seeing on the screen right now was something that I've been working on a little bit here and there I've been in no great hurry in the last couple of weeks because I've had other things going on but this was a system that I was setting up as an alternative to um, paying in cash. I'll just say that um, if you appreciate the fact that I'm helping you with um, getting through an issue with um, Unreal Engine 4, but you can't afford it, and not everybody has a big budget, or not everybody has a big wallet, and so not everybody can afford to just dish out, a, you know, $20 here and there to be able to, to pay me for for helping them. I'm not going to say, well, if you want me to help you, it's going to cost you 20 bucks an hour, or 40 bucks an hour, 80 bucks an hour, whatever. Um, yeah, I will say also, the people who have um, donated and gotten the Simple Multiplayer Steam template... You guys will always have the ability to come to my Discord channel and have priority over anybody else who hasn't contributed. Um, you guys will always be the, at the head of the line to ask me questions and get responses back. 
So I will never forget about the people who have bought the, the template or who have, there's a number of people who have just donated money out of the blue and love you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, and if those people ever come to me and say, hey, I got a problem with so-and-so, I will help them without fail. Um, that will never change. It's because they respected me enough to, to give me a tip or a donation. So I respect them back and will always do my very best to help them. I'm not going to stop helping people. Um, I am no master at Unreal Engine 4. Anybody can attest to that. Um, got a relatively decent grasp of it. I can kind of muddle through doing a lot of different things on there. But I'm no master. Um, John's pro. He, he's great at a lot of stuff. He's got his own biz and, and his own thing. And, yeah, he knows his shit, man. You know, much props on that. Um, but whenever it comes to the way that I'm going to do things, if you would like to show your respect for me helping you and you can't afford to pay, then this project that I have in front of me right now is what I'm suggesting that you do as a courtesy to thank me for helping you. And this project is just an advertising uh, system that I'm working on. And it just is one folder you drop into your actual project. Whether you're doing, you know, code or blueprints, you just drop this into your project and off you go. There will be things like these right here. They're two different size billboards. And if you actually take and you'll have horizontal and a vertical vertical. And you see right now all they show is just that. There's just nothing there. Um, if you hit play and look at them, that's they don't do much right now. But what they are is an active billboard system. Um, and all you're going to have to do is just take this and drop this into your map. I've got to make some revisions. You see, for some reason, the frame's not 100% correct. So I've got to make a few few tweaks here and there. But what they are is an active sign system, an active billboard system, um, that can be placed inside of a project. I actually think I've got a project that has a similar system for demonstrating what it looks like. And I don't think I've got a full build on this one yet. But the whole point is to, to say thank you for um, well, I do appreciate it, bud. I really do appreciate that. You know, like I said, I'm not going to be the guy that's sitting here and just constantly saying, holding my hand out saying, pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me. But, you know, that's why I was coming up with this system right here to, um, to get people to be able to use this as a way of thanking me for helping them however I possibly can. And um, I know that there's a lot of uh, Discord channels out there. And there's a lot of YouTube channels that are out there. A lot of other communities you can go to. And um, you may not always get the warmest reception. The one thing I will say about my Discord channel is I'm going to run it the way that I see fit and the whole thing is I want people to be respectful I want people to have a good time no but I also want you to know that whenever you go there you can just go there and just chit chat and hang out and talk about things if you know how to fix something and I don't and you see somebody asking a question jump in and help them just try to get some people to help each other and going through this because learning you know, it doesn't have to be difficult. And, you know, I've been doing some of these politically biased you know, or whatever type videos uh, where I'm trying to get people to stop being so freaking hateful to each other all the damn time. Um, all right, this might be a little bit loud. But as you can see, going through, if I look up right there, that's one of my active billboards. Right now, this one's running a video. Uh, the ad systems are set up to run um, either video or still images. Um, that one up there is just set to, to run video. 
It's just got a, a looping version of just a temporary placeholder video. But all you would do is just drag those, drop them into your map, and put them in different locations so as your players are walking around they can actually interact with stuff. Now they would all be similar. You could also set them up. You know, They can also be set up to have alternatives. Uh, they could also be set up so that, um, you know, they're just, like, say, on a, a sign somewhere. These are just the uh, temporary placeholders. But they can be put anywhere. They can be scaled up and down. The um, images used inside of them are 1080p. So they can be quite huge or they can be real small and without losing any, any kind of resolution issues. And the key of it, um, the whole system is, is, while it's set up and running, even though this one right here is only running just this one... Yeah, jetpack's a little loud. Um, not jetpack, the um, hoverboard. That was a temporary placeholder hoverboard, by the way. I'll come up with a different system later. But the whole point is um, is having this environment set up to where you can just take these and just throw them into your map and there you go and be done with it. And what I do is the ads themselves will be cycling. The standard billboard system is going to be like you see right there hanging up on the wall here and up there. There will be different ones. That one will be a, a um, video billboard and... 1920 by 1080 and 1080 by 1920 so they're turned sideways so there's two different styles so if you're wanting to place it on the side of a uh, a bus stop or something of that nature or have a different orientation to the sign you can do it based off of that as an aspect ratio to scale them until they look correct like those are vertical boards there versus um a horizontal board like um, well that one and being that this is something that I'm putting in why aren't you showing the video still thank you um, I'm very picky about things I'm the kind of person that hates watching TV and seeing a set of commercials go through and just while I was cooking earlier uh, I watch TV commercial, you know, watching TV between cooking and can hear the TV. Um, and in one commercial break, three commercials were in the same commercial break from the same frickin' ambulance chasing attorney. I friggin' hate ambulance chaser commercials. So think about it like this. The advertising is going to be run, the stuff that's, the ads that will be playing on this billboard system are being moderated by a grumpy old bastard. So, <laughs> there won't be annoying bullshit ads, is what I'm saying. There won't be 43 uh, videos back-to-back -back about ambulance chasing or erectile dysfunction. If you're pickled on pucker, that's not my problem. So, I will moderate what is up there. There will be tasteful Okay, I say tasteful, but um, there's a guy getting a blowjob inside this room here. Uh, yeah. I didn't say my games were going to be tasteful. I didn't say I was going to be tasteful. But my, my ad system is going to be tasteful. And you'll have video that's running without audio like these. And you'll have signs that will rotate between just static images. But there will also be um, uh, some that uh, will have audio to them. Like I was planning on doing since a lot of the stuff is involving Cindy Studio stuff. Like that sign right there would actually be showing Cindy commercials with no audio. Now, with that also, um, Uh, it could do a TV channel later, a radio station later, but the, the whole key of this is is that image is not there. It's not in your code. 
the actual videos, the actual images that you'll see on these uh, boards are not stored on your end. So again, all you have to do is just drop these into your project. You drop these uh, signs into the project and forget about it. You don't. You won't actually have to import a whole list of these images and change it whenever I decide I need to change advertising. I these are all run externally they're run from they'll be run from my web server and my file server which will be hosted online to try to keep latency issues down um, and they will be uh, downloaded they're H they're not HTML but they're actual um, online files online video files I can put YouTube videos in there I can put whatever I need to in there for advertising via playlist that actually uses um, online media. So these will be coming from my file server. They won't be from some ad monkey or traffic junkie or any kind of crap like that. These will be coming from my server so they will be safe, they will be secure and there won't be anything no pornographic materials, no obscenities. There will be G-rated advertising in other words. So that's a system that I'm going to get back to finishing up and absolutely 110% free of charge. Absolutely free. Okay. Will I show videos on how to make it? No, because I'm going to do this as a as a method for giving out to other people to as a thank you gesture. Uh, later on, I'm, I'm actually exploring the idea of if I know that your game is going to do popular and be popular and do well, or if your game is doing well, I can add this, you know, set this up to work with your system, so that um, you can actually put this into your project and get a profit share system going, to where you can generate money by putting my billboard system into your game maps and do a profit share system later down the line. But for right now, I'm just setting it up as a method for. Hey, just saying thanks for, if for nothing else, helping you out with a, a problem with Unreal Engine 4. I don't do Unity, so sorry. Um, here in the next couple of days, I am going to, you can see I got a buttload of projects that are here, and I have a shitload of stuff in my, uh, yeah. And this is not all of my stuff from my vault, by the way. Um, uh, I know there's a new version of 421 out and now there's a, a preview version of 420 out now or 422 so here very soon I'm going to go ahead and do like I usually do I do a complete uninstall of the Unreal Engine the Epic Launcher, the whole works get rid of everything, get rid of all of my projects, archive them all the ones that I need to keep, delete the ones I don't need to keep, and purge this completely. I need to ensure that um, my symbol multiplayer template is still working functionally fine for um, 420, which is fine, but I need to make sure it's good to go for 421, and I'm going to need to know that it's good to go for 422. Because for those people who have donated the 20 bucks for the, the template to help me out, um, I need to stay on top of the ball with that. You guys paid for something, and I don't want it to be a fire and forget. My, I'm, I'm not EA Games. I don't shove something down your throat, take all your money, and then say, okay, thanks for your money, go away. Um, yeah. I stand behind what I do. All right, well, I'm, I'm not going to make this a complete preach-a-thon, but... Yeah, I, I'm going to go through and I'm going to finish my ad system. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that uh, 421 is good to go um, for the multiplayer template. Um, it should be good to go. I've had no complaints on it so far, but except for one. But as for doing any more upcoming uh, stuff with and for Cinti Studios... I'll let that be between myself and Cindy Studios. Um, no, I don't know about their post-process and, and that Jeep. Um, 
yeah, I, I just saw your message on, on Discord. Uh, the Viking pack. I don't know what they use for post-process. I'd have to pull that one out of archive. I, I haven't used the, the Viking pack in a while, so I have to pull that one back up. Um, I have all of their stuff, so... Um, yeah. I will look more into it. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just going to do the, the, the bare bones with... This project right here is just... This is my fun project. Something that I'm screwing with. Um, you know, nothing else. There's no combat in it. It's just right now I'm just running around in here with the, the hoverboard and using it as a test bed to demonstrate the, the ad system. But the ad system is going to be number one priority. Um, like I said, I'm going to change the, the room layout again in Discord um, with less primary focus to um, Unreal Engine 4. Uh, right now I've got the, the the welcome center, server rules, general mayhem, those will stay the same. Um, and the Unreal 4 section, or UE4 section, will probably um, stay the way it is. Um, but I'm just going to remove the channel, send the assets, and questions and answers. And everything can just go into the general channel. Um, the Simple Multiplayer's team updates. I did create a room just for that. I've got the BBG Demos section, uh, which will be, again, just for posting links to those. I was in the process of moving everything over on the Try Before You Buy assets over to itch.io. I removed a lot of stuff from my Google Drive account because it was getting full and... Uh, the only thing that I really needed to be in there were the important things like my multiplayer template and I'll be doing some of my ad system stuff from there short term if I can get that sorted out um, so as it comes to the discord channel um, it's all going to be open to just one channel you got questions ask you know if there's enough activity where I need more channels again I'll open them up but I'm also going to dump all the extra voice channels that nobody's using right now. Um, I'm just going to have just a, a couple, uh, public one public voice channel, um, at, which I have now. And I have one for affiliates, one for VIPs. Um, actually, I can say the way it is, but the affiliate section is going to be changed slightly. Um, but yeah. I'm going to just be making some changes. And these are changes for me. Um, I'm going to be doing some new stuff coming up that's going to involve uh, me making money and based off of my YouTube channel and on my Discord as well. And it's going to be commercially done. Um, I'm slowly getting everything in my myself in the right frame of mind to start getting this geared up. But there's going to be some videos that I'm going to be releasing that we're going to be a lot of live streams. I do live streams specifically for the con conversation point where you can jump in there and say, hey, I got a question on how you're doing this or how you do that or whatever. And we can talk through it and kind of demonstrate in person. But these are going to be more practical and not game related. They're going to be as one example that I was mentioning was seeing if I can take a um, uh, and I, I've got a sample product right here in front of me right now uh, and make a gun camera system a lot of people like going rat hunting and where they take uh, precision air rifles and um, low light cameras and infrared lights and sometimes even lasers and whatnot and they go into barns and greeneries and things of that nature and they do pest control and it's fun uh, and you're removing pests that are damaging things. And hell, some people even get paid to kill rats and pigeons and shit like that. So um, what I'm going to do is take a product that I will have available on Amazon for you to buy. So as I'm actually creating 
this camera system, this night vision gun camera, infrared digital night vision uh, system. The whole goal is to put together projects on an extremely tight budget because I have no budget. Um, but as an example, is um, this camera system that I've got in my hand right now is actually uh, it cost me eighteen dollars. And the whole point is to build these cool projects on the cheap and have these project products that are used in the video available on Amazon with links in the description. So if you want to build what I'm building, you can buy the exact product that I'm using from Amazon and I make money by selling the product on Amazon and you get to, to build and, and set up the same project you see in the video step by step and cheap. Like I said, I'd, the whole goal is to build for this this one project a complete night vision, digital night vision um, rat shooting system for your air gun or rimfire rifle or what have you under a hundred dollars for everything including the infrared light, laser, um, camera, view screen, uh, and this one right here, this one right here that I've got in my hand is actually got a built-in DVR system that records to an SD card and it's got a, a USB port for recharging the onboard rechargeable batteries so you know to have an onboard DVR recording system for you to go rat shooting with and digital night vision all wrapped up in one um, for under a hundred bucks and I think we're on this project it's probably gonna wind up being under fifty dollars uh, for everything if I can get the products lined up I'm sorting through some other this particular unit that I've got in my hand right now won't be the one that I use in this in the the videos because I got this from another source um, I'll be getting this, this stuff directly from the manufacturer we'll have them available for sale on amazon.com with links in the description for you to buy them directly from my store on there so you have exactly the same product that I'll be using in the video and I'll be using cameras to show what I'm doing um, so that's actually the expense that I'm gonna have involved in getting set up is not just getting the product getting it sent to Amazon um, and setting up the page and all that stuff that's okay but I'm end up having to buy more cameras I'll have more money in cameras and microphones and junk like that than I will in the first year of, of projects but that's the thing is I, I'm doing this so that I can set up an, a source of income for myself there'll be products that I don't that will be on my store that won't be part of the video series um, but I'm going to start doing some stuff on Amazon to generate some income because right now my income is zero and um, I've been spending the last two years with Unreal Engine 4 in front of my face and I can't even finish my own projects because I'm, I'm always helping everybody else and nobody's helping me except for you know the people who have tipped and, and donated you know there are a few people and I'm not ignoring those people I'm just saying that 90% of the people who have come and gone have done nothing productive to help me uh, after they got their help and I'm not trying to sound ungrateful or anything but you know I was like with all the, the, the trolls and all the the negativity and all the drama and all that bullshit I'm done with all that crap and I need to start thinking about myself and my future and my income. Uh, I can't get out and work a regular job. I can't even stand up for more than 15 minutes at a time before I start getting in so much friggin' pain that I'm in tears. Um, but then again, also, um, I can't afford to have health care. I can't afford to go to the doctor and shit like that. So thanks, U.S. government. Thanks for ignoring me. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into the politics of that bullshit. Um, but yeah, I, I can't get health care right now. Um, I was turned down for uh, was it Medicare um, already. So I have to resubmit and fight that system. Um, but yeah, um, I can't get disability right now. And 
uh, I can't get unemployment, I can't get medical assistance, um, so pretty much just screwed, yeah. But I have a place to live, I have internet, I have a damn nice computer sitting in front of me, I can go and make me a hot cup of coffee, um, I have food to eat, I'm not going to starve, I'm not... I am pretty well off compared to a lot of people in this world. So I'm not complaining on that regard. But that golden meal ticket's not going to last forever. I, I don't mean it to sound that in a negative way, but I can't rely on what I have that's supporting me right now forever. So I have to take control of my own life. And sitting here focusing in on Unreal Engine 4 is not putting food on my table every day. Food's expensive as shit, and I'm a fat kid. I like the damn eat. I'm getting ready to end this video so I can go in there and cook some more shit. Oh, and by the way, um, thanks to uh, Walmart gift card. I'm not promoting Walmart here, but I um, was able to pick up from their website a air fryer. So, yeah, you're going to hear me talking a lot about food over the next few days because, holy shit, I'm enjoying the hell out of it so far. And, yeah. yeah. Eating fried food is not a good way to not be a fat kid, but I don't give a shit. I like me some damn french fries, crispy as shit, too. Um, <laughs> for the person that I talked to earlier who had a question about, except for Donut, I will try to help you with that same video. Uh, and, gee, Emerald there, I'll try to help you with the question you had. Um, no for you, Donut. I'm not helping you. I'm just kidding. Um, I will try to answer your question as well. And... Um, Millport. I haven't forgot about your question either. Um, I know I'm old and crap and I forget a lot of shit, but um, the particle emitter rotation thing, we'll get into that. Um, I'll get into that later. I'll do another video where I'm actually just I'm fiddle-farting around trying to answer some of the questions that I get in Discord. He said, I'm not going to stop helping people, but I'm not going to make it my number one focus in my life. I am not worried about trying to release a popular project that's going to make a billion dollars. I'm just going to do my ad system so you guys can thank me that way. Later on, I may turn that over and say, okay, here it is. You know, um, you guys can run with it. what's going on yeah i am pretty much got all the, the main stuff covered that i want to cover in this video i just closed the, uh, the the project there but um actually so that i have something on the screen and i'm gonna keep the stream alive for seven minutes i'm gonna do a, a final recap of everything that was in the video um but yeah pretty much starting off with the fact that um Due to just, you know, in general, there'll be something on the screen here in just a second. It's, it's loading. Um, just to, in, in general, I'm getting old. And I probably could have put my foot forward in a better way. But for the last two years, I've dedicated my life to helping people out and um, doing Unreal Engine 4 stuff and supporting people that way. I don't know why that that always looks like when first load up. But, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to be 100% focused on Unreal Engine 4 stuff anymore. Um, I'm going to reformat the Discord channel one more time. I'm going to get rid of a few channels. But uh, and all the Unreal Engine 4 stuff will be pretty much bottlenecked into one room, the general channel. I'm going to remove the city assets section and the questions and answers section. It'll just be the general Unreal Engine 4 questions. Um, no longer worried about trying to recruit a team to put together this project. However, if someone does want to jump on board and, and help finish the project that I explained earlier, then that's cool, um, but my number one focus is, oh, did I put the ad system in here? Yeah, it is. Um, 
is my advertising system. I'm going to finish that out over the next week or two, which is pretty much just that. Uh, there will be static images and there will be video images without sound. And I'm going to keep it without sound for right now to keep it simple. But there will be vertical boards and there will be horizontal boards that for people who want to say thank you for um, helping them along the way, then all they have to do is take and free of charge. I'm not charging anything for this ad system here. For the, the test bed, I want to get this out to a bunch of people to put in their projects so that we can get it all tested. Essentially, you throw one uh, folder into your, your project, and then you place the, um, the signs out. And it's just a flat panel. So, like, I applied it to the Cinti Studios asset right here, or you could apply it to somebody else's assets or whatever else. It's just a flat panel. It's 1920 by 1080 in size, so it's huge. So you're going to have to scale it down to fit, okay? And there's also going to be the vertical size, which is... 1080 by 1920 in height. So, um, as for the people who have bought the Symbol Multiplier Steam template, um, there will be an update coming soon. Um, I gotta finish hammering out exactly what I want in that update and getting the rest of those things done, but there will be an update to that. There will never be a cutoff on support and help on that. So, as long as I'm breathing, you have support on that project. What the hell are you doing back here? Why are you just like pushing the garbage truck, bro? What's wrong? What's up? You got some freaking issues. Um, too many unappreciative trolls have pushed me to the, the point where I just, you know, I've engaged fuck it mode. Wait a minute. I didn't see the thing there, but it's there working. Yeah, I, I have achieved fuck it mode. Uh, what was it in? Um, there we go. Deadpool 1. Where, um... Like, Let me know when you hit fuck it. Yeah, I've hit fuck it. I don't give a shit anymore. So, yeah. I'm even more focused in on doing projects and things to generate money. So instead of having a primary focus of Unreal Engine 4, I'll be doing uh, another series of videos where I'm doing projects. Um, and the projects are like the gun camera for digital night vision gun camera system with monitor and DVR and SD card and the whole works. And on a budget, to try to keep it under 100 bucks, but for sure, try to keep it under 50 bucks budget projects for the poor folks like myself uh, but the the actual stuff that I'm using in the videos will be available to purchase from my Amazon store um, I'm getting my Amazon store set up right now I'm sorting through probably 20 different products and trying to get them to where I can start with this project and uh, product and then let it fund being able to buy the next product, to buy the next product. So I'm building that chain reaction event of the first product that's going to allow me to then expand my business out. And I have to start thinking about my future. And Unreal Engine 4 is not putting food on my table in a productive manner of a minimal goal. If I'm going to be doing Unreal Engine 4 stuff, then it needs to be my sole source of income. And... It needs to be no less than $3,000 per month. And there's no way in hell right now I'm going to put $3,000 a month in my pocket from Unreal Engine 4. Not the way that I'm going right now. Excuse me, I will knock the shit out of you if you walk in front of me again. I may not have implemented um, damage yet, but yeah. And if you're wondering what that extra bar is above the health bar down there, that was actually part of a test setup that I was doing that was a criminal activity bar. Once you reach a certain percentage, you are wanted by the cops, and the cops will find you no matter where you are on the map, and they will tase you, and you're done. 
instance, in this project, you are an android. You're not a human. So here are the cops here. So, yeah. Totally different project. So, to wrap this up, if you have questions about the future of the way things are going or whatever, or if you have products or project ideas um, for the upcoming uh, layout, like the uh, the gun camera, the, the night vision gun camera system for under a hundred bucks. Uh, and it's primarily, there will be other stuff in my store that are gonna, is going to be for sale, and I'll be showing videos of what I have on my Amazon store and that kind of stuff. Um, but as these project videos are starting to come out, um, if you have ideas for those projects, take an existing product and modifying it to uh, do something slightly different from its original intent. Uh, God bless China and cheap Chinese products because I can get these cheap Chinese products and modify the crap out of them and sell them cheap. I mean, cheap, cheap. I mean, like uh, the, the product I got right here, uh, under 20 bucks for the, the base product. I want my projects to be affordable t to pretty much everybody. So that if you're watching a video, you can do this, the same project that I'm doing and for the cheap. Like I said, I'm trying to put together a digital night vision gun camera system for under 50 bucks with DVR function, saving to an SD card, uh, rechargeable battery system. Uh, yeah, the whole deal for under 50 bucks. And without using complicated shit like a 3D printer, I've got a 3D printer, but um, without having to resort to, like, say, maybe a 3D printer, I may later say, okay, if you have a 3D printer, here's the STL files, download it, and print your own version of it. Or if you want to buy a 3D printed version, you can actually either, A, buy one from me, or there's actually some 3D printing services that are out there that you can just say, hey, I need two of these, you send them the STL file, and you pay them, and they 3D print it and ship it out to you. So there are 3D printing services out there already. But that will be an, an extra thing. But just want to kind of come up with these, these simple... It's okay, I'm going to just throw the damn camera system on the ground. But that's the kind of things I'm going to be doing. So if you have any project ideas, let me know, and we'll see what we can come up with. Inexpensive, fun projects that are useful. Not everybody has to use for going rat hunting or uh, digital night vision camera system, but hell, you could use the same shit for airsoft, I guess, um, or whatever. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I have a new toy to go play with. Um, so I'm going to go play with that. Uh, my air fryer. I'm going to cook some uh, a late snack. Um, and not french fries this time, by the way. Well, thank everybody for watching. Thank everybody for their input. I will try to get back here soon with the multitude of questions that I've got that came in on Discord. But I'm going to go take a quick break and make something to eat. And then I'll get back to some of these questions before I actually get back to doing what I was doing. All right, guys and gals. Not trying to be disrespectful towards anybody with this video, but... And I love most of you, sometimes. Some more than others. Some a lot less than others, but, yeah. All right. We will... What the hell is that? Get out of my damn way. See you next time, and thank you for watching.